Hello, my name is Andrea Sutton. Uh, this is my video presentation of my final project, um, America's Immigration Legacy. Um, in this video presentation, I will be discussing my sources and content of those sources, as well as, um, you know, give you a direction of where I think my paper is headed. Um, and then also, finally, give the the legacy of where uh, immigration in America is going. So, um, you know, let's start with uh, source number one. Um, I have H. Phelps Whitmarsh. Um, he provides a, a detailed look at his experience of immigration in the story Steerage Class, Conditions of 1898, and a first-hand look. He writes about the journey from his home across England to America. Whitmarsh documents the questions he was asked as well as the conversations he had with other people. The most important part of the account was the information on what he experienced as he arrived to uh, Ellis Island. He not only records the things he experienced, but the things other people experienced as well. He discusses the infuriating and disappointing moment uh, when they were not allowed to come ashore. Um, he also documents what people had to say while they were there at Ellis Island. Uh, John Doyle is source number two. Uh, he was an Irish immigrant who wrote his first-hand account <clears throat> of his journey to America and the story uh, suffered for about six months after leaving home. His story focuses on his life after arriving in the United States. He tells the story by way of letter to, sent home to his wife. Like many immigrants, he came uh, to America before the rest of his family. His letter home demonstrates a common theme for many immigrants. Uh, Doyle uh, discusses the issue that many immigrants had with not being able to work. Uh, he emphasizes the issue of discrimination against immigrants um, on fair wages as well as uh, fair uh, work. Um, source three, Li Chu. Um, he was a Chinese immigrant uh, who based his story on, you know, story of his life um, on, uh, you know, living in America and his journey to the United States. Um, and in, the st in his actual writing, a Chinese immigrant makes his home in the turn of the century America. He compares and contrasts um, all that he observes to home in, in China. Uh, Lee talks about people talks about people who live and leave China poor and return rich. He assumes that coming to America would do the same for himself. When he arrives and lives in the United States, he finds a different experience totally. His thoughts were that he would be in the United States for a little while, then return home. Uh, immigrants would, you know, come work, come to the United States, work for a little while. Um, and then once they would, you know, make enough money to live better, they would uh, return home. Um, he also gives his opinion on what happened um, with the um, shutting out of the Chinese immigrants uh, to America. Um, he said that America broke their treaty with China, which opened the door of immigration to China and opened the door of immigration to America. Um, Lee said that America broke its promise and close their doors once China's, China opened theirs. Uh, last uh, source was Seymour Rickside. Um, he was a young boy who immigrated to America. He tells the story in the story, Relive a Boy's Journey to America. Seymour came from uh, Poland to pursue his uh, career in singing. He was also eight years old. Like many immigrants, he and his father came to America before the rest of his family. Uh, could join them. Uh, Rex uh, gives his account on what Ellis Island was like for him. He spoke about uh, how he was ill and was forced to stay on the island until he got better. Um, he talks about boys he met on the island and what it's like uh, once he was able to leave Ellis Island and uh, go into America. The story is pretty uh, uh, pretty typical However, the elements in his account of his journey connected uh, to many other immigrants during this uh, period of time of immigration. Uh, 
where my paper is headed, essentially, is, uh, you know, during this time, you know, when the Statue, when the Statue of Liberty called upon the word worlds, uh, huddled masses, um, pretty much they yearn to, to breathe free air. Um, this is when, you know, uh, the diversity of America mushroomed. Uh, each group brought pieces of old culture and made contributions to a new culture. Although many immigrants swore to maintain their own old ways of life, their children did not agree. Um, most enjoyed higher standards of living than their parents did. They learned English easily, and they also sought out American lifestyle. At least to that extent, America was a meeting, uh, you know, basically a melting pot despite immigration regulation over the years. Um, so where I think my paper is headed essentially is that, um, you know, um, it's future generation. It's it's the our children who, like, you know, as well as, you know, our parents passing it on to us. And then, uh, again, us passing it on to our children. Um, immigration will always be, you know, there. We're always going to have people wanting to come into the United States. And I do believe that... Um, you know, just with with uh, better resolution um, of you know race and ethnicity uh, and reform, it. I just think that uh, uh, you know that's basically where immigration will continue to head, um, and then the legacy of American uh, immigration is basically the liberalization of, of immigration policy. And uh, this was reflected in uh, 1965 legislation. Um, it can be understood as a part of uh, evolutionary trend in federal policy after World War II. Um, you know, it was the end of legal discrimination based on race and ethnicity. Essentially, the legacy was that uh, immigration, the immigration bill was mainly seen as an extension of the civil rights mo movement. Um, um, this is pretty symbolic of that era. So um, I believe that the legacy of immigration, again, stands with our children, um, you know, and lack of racism and, and judgment on people's ethnic backgrounds. Um you know, this is this is still considered America and the land of opportunity. So, uh, you know, with that being said, uh, you know, it just this is where our legacy is is in complete diversity of culture.